Instagram there, Tyson Fury gives his post-fight reaction to Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Povetkin. And to him, this is what he says, that it's official confirmation um, in his mind that Team Joshua don't want the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury, because they didn't mention his name in the post-fight um, talk after the ring there. And there's a reason for it, Tyson. That's because, first of all, it was the Sky commentator who asked Joshua. Joshua didn't bring up Wilder's name. He didn't bring up Dylan White's name. The Sky pundit did. So there's the first thing. Second of all, people don't believe that you're going to beat Deontay Wilder. That would also be a very important factor. Why would he say, I want to fight Tyson Fury? When there's no guarantee that you're going to beat Wilder. He wants undisputed. That's his goal. And he's already said he, he believes that Wilder's going to beat you. But yet, me and I'm sure the entirety of Britain, for the most part, would love you to beat Deontay Wilder. But unfortunately, mate, we think it's too early for you. We don't think that you've had enough fights after so long out of the ring. So, of course, he's not going to mention your name. But, yeah, you're kind of acting the same way that Wilder did because when Joshua beat Vladimir Klitschko, he didn't mention Wilder's name. And the reason he didn't mention his name was because there was no contract signed. And he was right to do so because Wilder priced him out 50-50 or no fight after then. So, yeah, that was never going to happen. And things have happened since where Wilder had a contract but yet refused to sign it to the terms that he agreed on for no date and venue, yet... He's signing a fight with you, Tyson, with no date and venue. And yet you guys announced your fight on the eve of his fight. But yet even then, in the ring afterwards, Joshua, off his own back, said, good luck to Deontay Wilder and good luck to Tyson Fury. He wished you good luck. Did you wish him good luck? No, you didn't. In fact, you've just said that Alexander Povetkin is a 39-year-old bum, is what you've called him. He's no good. A guy half his size. But yet, I remember on your live stream a couple of weeks ago, you said that this was a real tough, serious fight for Anthony Joshua. And don't be surprised to see Joshua get chinned by Povetkin because he's dangerous. And yet here you are saying this. I mean, why can't you and Wilder just do your own business? Why do you have to involve Joshua? Why are you guys so desperate for his attention? Come on, Tyson, man. You know, you're bigger than this. You're better than this. You don't need Joshua right now you don't need his name you're already a name you're already here wilder needed joshua's name because wilder has no name not even in alabama does he have a name he could walk down to his local kfc in alabama sit next to forrest gump in greenbow and nobody will know who the hell he is that's why he's using joshua's name but you don't need to do that you already have a name your former world unified champion you dethroned vladimir klitschko your current lineal champion why why do you have this bitterness towards aj why what's he done to you nothing except got everything that you wanted which is the fame the money the adulation why because he conducts himself in a certain way whether it's fake whether it's real isn't even important fact is he's done it and he's come across that way you had a promoter in McKennessy who didn't promote you good enough. I'm sorry, but he didn't. I know McKennessy's a nice lad and everything, but he didn't. And Frank Warren isn't either because Frank Warren is also bitter about Eddie Hearn and Joshua. And yet you're putting yourself in that bracket. And yet you say you dislike no man. You do. You dislike Joshua. Come on, Tyson. Be bigger than this. Don't do this, okay? Because you're going to lose a lot of fans because people are not on your side when it comes to this whole situation because people are starting to see you as bitter and nobody wants to see you as bitter because you're better than this you could beat joshua if you get back to your best you could legitimately beat joshua and people know that joshua fans know that most people that i speak to is a case of joshua wins by knockout or tyson fury wins on points it's one of the two so if joshua can't land the punch then guess what you're probably going to win so you don't need to be bitter. There's no need for it. Every time Joshua fights, you have to comment. Why do you need the fame? You don't need it. Handle your business with Wilder. Wilder is your issue. Your issue is not if Anthony Joshua is talking about you. Who cares if Joshua's talking about you, bruv? Come on, man. No need for this. Don't go down the route. Don't go down that Deontay Wilder route. Please don't do it. 
Please be bigger than this. No need for it whatsoever. No need for it. I'm a big fan of Tyson Fury equally as I am with Joshua. I have no favourite when it comes to these guys. But there's little things like this that niggle me. Because I know that Tyson's bigger than this. There's no need for him to be bitter. You're going to lose fans this way. I'm sorry, but you will. People don't want to see you acting this way. People want to see you congratulating a fellow Brit. That's what they want. So why can't you do that? Dylan White is probably Joshua's biggest enemy. But yet, Dylan White says he wanted Joshua to beat Povetkin. He wanted Joshua to beat Parker. He wanted Joshua to beat Klitschko. Why? Because he's British. And when you fight Wilder, regardless of your issues with Dylan White, guess what? Dylan White will wish you good luck and want you to win. Whenever um, Derek Chisora fights, and, and we all know how much Dylan White dislikes um, Derek Chisora, he wishes him to win. Joshua wishes Dylan White to win. Everybody wishes everybody to win except you. For whatever reason, you don't want that. Why don't you want that? Come on, man. This is ridiculous. It's getting a little bit petty. It's a little bit childish, man. I mean, I haven't seen Deontay Wilder's response. I don't really care about Deontay Wilder's response. But listen, you and Wilder did a predictable thing. Announce your fight on the eve of Joshua. Because you want to use Joshua's name. We get that. But you don't need to do that, Tyson. That's what I'm telling you. You do not need to do this. Be more, man. You don't need this. Concentrate on Wilder. A fight that most people are predicting Wilder to beat you in. Whether or not in your mind that you're going to beat Wilder is irrelevant to everybody else. People think Wilder's going to beat you because it's too early for you. If you're even close to how you was when you fought Klitschko, then yes, people would be picking you to win. But right now, people see this as a mismatch. In this fight against um, Jontae Wilder, Jontae Wilder is Tyson Fury and you are Pianetta. That's the gap. That's what people see it as. So of course Joshua is not going to mention your name. Of course Eddie Hearn is not going to mention your name because they don't believe you're going to win. If you win, guess what? Eyes are turned. But even then, they're not going to do that. Why? Because even if you win, you've got to have a rematch with Wilder. So what's the point in them talking about you for April 13th? You are a no-go for April 13th. A no-go. It's impossible. Because even if you beat Wilder, you need to give Wilder a rematch because Wilder's given you a voluntary. So April 13th, who's he fighting next? It ain't going to be Tyson Fury. No matter what happens in your fight, mate, it ain't going to be you. If you lose, it ain't going to be you. If you beat Wilder, it ain't going to be you. It's as simple as that. I don't like doing these kind of videos, but I don't like it when boxers come out and chastise other ones for no reason. If there was a reason for it, I can understand. But there isn't a reason for it. You're coming across as childishness. You're coming across as jealous. And I don't want people saying that about you. But that's the impression that you're giving people. No need for it, man. No need for it. Come on. Stand up and congratulate Joshua. You predicted that Joshua will become a king of the heavyweight division one day. You predicted this before Joshua turned pro. So now, now suddenly he's doing what you predicted. You're chastising him. I know he's your rival, but come on now. You don't have to stoop to the depths of what Deontay Wilder is. You don't need to do this. No need for it whatsoever. Come on, man up. Stick your phone in your face and say, Listen, Joshua, congratulations. All right? I didn't mean what I said. Povetkin was a dangerous opponent, like you originally said. But yeah, okay, so if you really do believe that Povetkin is a subpar opponent, guess what? Most people think that you are currently a subpar opponent for Wilder. Because you've had all this time out of the ring, you put on all that weight, you resorted to cocaine and alcohol and kebab shops, you did this, and yes, you are the very first person to admit that you did wrong. That you did this to yourself. So you're not after sympathy, hence why you're not getting any right now. You just took on Sofessa Ferry, Pianetta, and then jumping straight in with Wilder. Thankfully, Wilder has the skill set of an of a turd, to be honest. He really does. Thankfully, he just got a puncher's chance of beating you. 
but he's always landed that punch. And we've seen you dropped by a cruiserweight before. And the other dude, who I can't pronounce his damn name. So, listen, when people don't talk about you, like Joshua, there's a good reason for it, because they don't believe you're going to win. I'm sorry, but they don't. They're not going to talk about you. Even if they did believe you're going to win, they can't mention you because you're going to have to give Wilder an immediate rematch. So April 13th is a no-go. No-go. And if you come out and say there is no rematch, then guess what? Maybe, just maybe, Joshua might talk about you. But even then, he won't because there's no contract in place. Come on now. Anyway, everyone else, drop your thoughts below. Click that thumbs up and subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.